All right, time for great day food. Do you know what to do with a rutabaga? I don't even know what a rutabaga is. How about a parsnip? I don't know what that is either. Some winter root vegetables. Mm. <laughs> well, Chef Plum is showing us how to make a roasted veggie salad Ooh. with a lemon garlic vinaigrette. Sounds good. That sounds delicious. I love any vegetable that's roasted. I like it to be warm and roasted. It adds so much flavor, doesn't it? Uh, get that little natural sugars out of it. It's so delicious when it's roasted. Oh. I love roasted vegetables. We eat them all the time at my house. What about beets? Is, does this include beets? You 100% could put beets in here. And here's my whole thought. So you think about during like the springtime and summertime and the early fall, we're getting amazing vegetables. You know, they're growing outside of the ground. Well, just because there's snow on the ground, you may not have those vegetables that grow outside, but you got the ones that grow under the ground. And that's what this is all about right now. We're talking about root vegetables. One of my favorite things to use, things like this giant monstrosity here. Look at this. Can you guys see that? Yeah. That's called a, that rutabaga. a rutabaga. Look how big that guy is. That's a yeah, rutabaga. That's a rutabaga. Wow, that's cool. Okay. And some people even call it a wax turnip, which is kind of crazy. Yes, so you got these yes, guys. Yes. You've got these, which are those little, uh, they look like white carrots, but they're not. They're called parsnips. They grow underneath the ground, delicious vegetables. And along with this, I like to use a little sweet potato and I like to use carrots. But before we get started with this, we have to make a little vinaigrette. So let me show you guys how to make this simple, easy vinaigrette to go on this, okay? So first, we're gonna start with, I have a lemon right here and my zester. I'm just gonna add a little lemon, lemon zest in here, about half of the lemon, just like this. And this vinaigrette's really simple. I mean, it's just one of those things where if you got the, the lemon zester, which is probably the hardest tool to have, you can make this piece of cake. I have a uh, garlic clove right here. Just I'm going to take it. I'm going to rough chop this, right? I want to leave this in bigger pieces because as it's roasting, if you shred it up into small pieces, they will burn really, really simply. So I want to put these pieces. You can see I'll hold it to my big my overhead camera so you can see how I cut them like that. There's little like slices on my knife right in there, just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add about a tablespoon of just mustard, whole grain mustard, just like that. And then I'm going to take this lemon that we cut and I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to use my, this is a new tool. Look at this, the lemon squeezer. How about I that? have one. Have yeah, Kara's got one. I Did think I have one too. <laughs> Usually I was born with them. These two things and these two gorilla hands I have. That's what I used to use. But now that I have this, I'm fancy. So I'll put a little lemon juice in there. Just like that. So we've got that garlic. We've got that a little bit of mustard. We've got that lemon juice. And this is almost our entire vinaigrette right here, you guys. This is so simple. And what we're going to do to brighten this guy up now is we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to add about a cup of olive oil or so. A cup. Okay. Uh, probably three, quarter, three quarters of a cup. Half. Yeah, about three quarters of a cup. There we go. Because you want it to emulsify. You want that liquid suspended in the fat. Now, here is what really sets it off. I've got cilantro here. Now, if you don't like cilantro, use a little parsley. I'm going to tear off about... A small handful, about a half a cup, put it here, and then check this out. I have a little bit of mint. I'm going to take just a good pinch of this mint right off here. Now, if you don't have uh, fresh, you can obviously use um, um, the dried stuff. I prefer not to, but if you have that, that's cool. Just use a little bit less. I'm going to rough chop this just like this. Just rough chop it right in here, right in there. Yum. Add a pinch of salt, Add a pinch of salt a little black pepper, and we're gonna whisk this guy up and it's ready to rock and roll. And that's half, that's almost the entire meal right there. That's all we had to do, right? That's the hardest part. So we whisk this guy up, it comes together right away. That mustard helps hold it together. Mm. Also adds a little bit of a tang to it. That's what we're looking for. Now, I'm gonna put this aside, grab a bigger bowl here. I've got some carrots that I started chopping up already. I like to leave the skin on on my carrots, just like this, and just give them a good rinse and wash in the sink. Um, what I'm doing here, they all are kind of the same size. That's the key thing when you're doing this. You kind of want things to be all the same size. When you have a parsnip like this, you want to peel it just like a carrot. Just take your peeler and peel it really simply. Don't put the peels in your in your bowl there. Once it's peeled, again, you want to cut this just like your carrot. It's about the same size, so they all roast at the same time. Now, we also have our rutabaga, right? So take your peeler, and you're just going to peel this rutabaga or wax turnip. You can see sometimes it has a little outer layer of vegetable wax on there. You can peel that right off, and then what happens is it looks like this on the inside, mm. right? You slice it into pieces that look like this. There we go. It, it would take me five minutes just to peel that darn thing, so I just figured I'd go ahead and have some pieces ready to go. And all I'm going to do, again, is cut these about the same size as our carrot pieces. All being the same size means all about the same cooking time. That's what we're looking for here, that same cooking time. Put these guys in here. And then finally, I have a sweet potato. Uh, just peel your sweet potato down. And I like to add sweet potato to this to add that nice little hint of sweetness to it. Uh, the sweet potatoes are delicious. It's super healthy and like really, really good this time of year. So you put all these vegetables in here. We're going to add a little bit of dressing. Toss it up, right? Toss it up. 
once it's tossed up, you want to put it onto your pan like this. My oven is set at 450 degrees. I'm going to pop this in the oven, let it start to roast. And here's what it look like. Check this out. And they come out. Look how roasted and beautiful those look. These are amazing. And here's what I do to finish this off. I'm going to take some of these vegetables like this, put them right on my plate. I've got some little micro greens here. You could use whatever you have. If you have a uh, little lettuce or something like that, you can use that too. I take a little like this. I take a little bit of our vinaigrette, drizzle it right on top like that. The same vinaigrette we use. We only use half of it. And then top it with a little bit of feta cheese, which adds that nice little fat to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. And check that out. Boom. How beautiful is my, that? My mouth the overhead is camera girl. That's check amazing. That yeah, that looks really And you good. can make a big Healthy. plate of that, you know, and have it all week. Love it. You know yeah, what, uh, you know, we're going to roast the whole pan off and have them the whole week. You can snack on it all week. You can serve it. I mean, if you want to put chicken or something with this, you certainly could. Just slice it up and put it right on top of there. Absolutely delicious, easy, healthy, and you're still getting all those vegetables. They just don't grow above the ground. They grow under the ground. Thanks, Chef Thanks, Chefie. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you check out Season this Thursday okay. on WNPR. Got it.